Now let's move on to the upper echelon of the Power Series components, the T3, T4, and T5 components. Now, Rockford has always been known for power, they've always been known for output, they've always been known for loud, and they may not have been associated with audiophile, but with between the T3 and the T5 components, we have definitely moved into that market. Now understand that the, the upper echelon of these audiophile grade components, the question was, if you could build a speaker, what would it be like? If you could build the best speaker that you had, whatever you want. These are basically what we've come up with. Our speaker engineers have worked long and hard to make sure that these speakers sound the absolute best that they can and go up against even the bigger names out there in the market. So let's talk about some of the features that each of these components have. First, let's talk about the T3s. Now the T3s feature a one inch treated silk surround LCP or liquid crystal polymer tweeter with a neodymium motor structure, a liquid crystal polymer or LCP fiber cone mid range, Again, very lightweight, very durable. Utilizing a true Nomex spider in your mid-range. Also an asymmetrical crossover network. A die-cast aluminum frame basket on the mid-range speaker. And a neodymium motor structure with key return of magnetic flux lines assembly. Now, that's big technical words basically for maximizing the, the return magnetic lines through the motor structure to maximize the efficiency and reduce the overall distortion. So again, it's all about sound quality. It's all about that audiophile aspect. All right, now that we've talked about the T3, let's jump to the other end of the spectrum and go all the way to the top with the T5s. Now, the T5s, of course, are our premier component speakers. Uh, these are the top of the threshold the everything that they could be type speaker. Some of the things that we've got built into these speakers, one inch ring radiator, LCP dome tweeter with a copper phase plug. Now basically, again, there's a lot of big words, it's a lot of jargon, a lot of techno. Basically, when you look at these tweeters, understand that they are designed to produce very accurate, very pure high frequency output. They utilize the same LCP or liquid crystal polymer fiber trilaminate cone in the mid-range. Again, utilizing a true Nomex spider in the motor structure, a die cast aluminum frame, a multi-pole neodymium motor structure. So this is kind of cool. Where most mid-range speakers utilize one magnet assembly, the T5 component actually has a multi magnet ring around the motor structure, enhancing and improving the overall efficiency of the driver. It also utilizes a solid copper phase plug for extended frequency range and greater power handling. Now the crossover is a multifunction audiophile crossover that features a passive and active design with a remote keypad for fine tuning of the speakers. So the crossover is unique in its own right in that it acts like a passive crossover and can be used as a passive crossover, but it also connects to a power source. This allows you to actually make adjustments such as tweeter phase, tweeter slope, everything you need right from the available keypad that's mounted on top. The keypad can also be extended so you can actually make adjustments from the driver's position. Once those adjustments are made to your liking, you disconnect the keypad and dock it back with the crossover assembly. When we look at the new T4 component set, this is the ideal marriage between the T3 and the T5 components. So the T4 cross, or component set is available as a six and a half inch size set, 150 watt RMS power handling, Features the flex fit slot woofer mounting assembly, as again, most of our other speakers do. Utilizes the vast vertical attached surround technique to maximize, again, cone area. Also, the tweeter utilizes the DDC, or discrete dual clamp mounting system. LCP, or liquid crystal polymer, fiber sandwich woofer cone. A fatigue and wear resistant Nomax spider assembly, die cast aluminum frame. Again, same multi-pole neodymium magnet assembly that we see in the T5. A one inch ring radiator Teteron dome tweeter with aluminum phase plug. Asymmetrical 12 dB per octave Butterworth crossover network. A selectable plus two, zero, minus two tweeter attenuation circuit 
bi-amp switching, and then a selectable on-off axis. So, again, it's a lot of specs on the speakers, but what is it really? The T4 component set, as I said before, is a perfect marriage between the T3 and T5. What we basically have done is taken the basket motor structure of a T5 and utilized the cone assembly of a T3. We're utilizing a crossover type, such as that with the T3, but we're using T5 quality components. And then the tweeter is a T5 tweeter, with one difference being the aluminum phase plug versus the solid copper phase plug. So what this allows us to do is have your good, better, and best within our upper echelon of power series components.